from the very early designs used for pottery purposes to the most advanced contraptions known to mankind, the wheel has been continuously driving our civilization. An engine or motor is a machine designed to convert one form of energy into mechanical energy. Heat engines burn a fuel to create heat which is then used to create a force. In the early years, steam engines and electric motors were tried, but with limited success. In the 20th century, the internal combustion engine became dominant. There are many type of engines, four-stroke IC engines are widely used in automobiles. Let us see the various parts of IC engines. Crankcase. Crankshaft. Connecting rod. Piston. Cylinder block. Inlet and exhaust valves. Cylinder head. Camshaft. The piston is connected to the connecting rod by a pin. In between the two valves lies the spark plug. There are two main mechanism in IC engines. Slider crank mechanism and cam mechanism. Slider crank chain. This is a kinematic chain having four links. It has one sliding pair and three turning pairs. Link 2 has reciprocating motion and is called slider or piston. Link 3 has got combined rotary and reciprocating motion and is called connecting rod. Link 4 has rotary motion and is called crank. Link 1 is frame fixed. This mechanism is used to convert rotary motion to reciprocating and vice versa. Cam Mechanism The valve which allows mixture into the cylinder is the inlet valve, the one through which the spent gases escape is the exhaust valve. They are designed to open and close at precise moments, to allow the engine to run efficiently at all speeds. The operation is controlled by pear-shaped lobes, called cams, on a rotating shaft. The camshaft is driven by a chain, a belt, or a set of gears from the crankshaft. Working Principle of Internal Combustion Engines The topmost position of the piston towards the cover and side of the cylinder is known as top dead center or TDC. The lower position of the piston towards the crank end side of the cylinder is known as bottom dead center or BDC. Stroke Stroke is defined as the movement of the piston from the bottom dead center to the top dead center or the other way round. A four-stroke engine has four strokes. Intake, compression, power and exhaust. Intake stroke. The piston is at its highest point TDC, the inlet valve opens and the exhaust valve is closed. The piston moves downward and it increases the volume between the valves and the piston, so the pressure inside the cylinder gets lower and lower. As the outside air pressure is higher, this forces the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder as the piston is moving down. A moment later, the piston reaches the BDC, bottom dead center, and the inlet valve closes. Compression stroke. Both exhaust and intake valves stay closed as the piston moves upward from the BDC. The piston moves upward, squeezing the fuel-air mixture into a smaller volume. The pressure gets higher and this causes the fuel-air mixture's temperature to rise. With high temperature, ignition is easier and combustion more complete. Power stroke. Just before the piston reached the TDC, at the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug fires. The fuel-air mixture explodes forcing the piston down the cylinder. The power stroke drives the engine. Exhaust stroke. At the bottom of the power stroke, the exhaust valve is opened by the cam mechanism. The piston now moves from BDC to TDC. The inlet valve is closed. The exhaust valve opens, and the piston moving upward pushes the leftover gases out of the cylinder. Firing Order the firing order is the sequence of power delivery of each cylinder in a multi-cylinder reciprocating engine. This is achieved by sparking of the spark plugs in a gasoline engine in the correct order, or by the sequence of fuel injection in a diesel engine. The typical firing order of inline four-cylinder engine is 1-3-4-2.
When designing an engine, choosing an appropriate firing order is critical to minimizing vibration, to improve engine balance and achieving smooth running.